One day when I was walking down the street, that's a lie. I don't, I, I don't go outside. I was in my room scrolling through my save list on webtoons. I just finished the series. I need a new one to read. But then suddenly a freaking huge moth flies into my room like he owns the goddamn place. You come into my room. Disrespect my privacy. All for a light. Of course I had to go full on Saitama mode on that fool until I remembered I'm afraid of insects. Please, please just, just take the light. <laughs> yeah, I left after a bit. I showed him who's boss. I went back on my search and saw this and had an anime moment. Okay, how am I not supposed to click this after literally what just happened? So obviously I chose to read that one for no particular reason, no reason at all. And it's awesome. Jungle Juice. No, not that one. Jungle Juice is a world with insect people. Kind of. The world is normal with normal non-winged, non-antennaed people, so humans. However, there are some people who possess certain abilities and physical parts that belong to insects. And how did they get them? Drug! Jungle Juice. It, it was Jungle Juice. Jungle Juice is thought to be a bug spray that kills bugs, obviously, but it's actually a spray that mixes your DNA with whatever bug you spray it on. For example, the main character Suchan, he sprays a dragonfly and gains dragonfly wings and some other things along the way. Or my queen, I mean Hujin, who morphs with a cockroach and now has a cock. <laughs> okay, that was a stupid joke. I guess I should establish the main characters now. Sorry if I pronounced these wrong, by the way. Suchan, the F1 driver of the team. <laughs> Hujin, the cat wishes they could do it better. <laughs> Hi Song. And Dua, the overly aggressive one that you just want to give a hug even though she'll probably cut you in half. This webtoon immediately caught my attention, because most shows when it comes to having characteristics of other beings, it's always with animals like Wolverine, Black Panther, Beast Boy, but insects are the aliens of our world. They have literal superpowers, like the parasit, the par- the par- the par- Listen, I had a hard enough time with the hyacinth. I don't need your crap right now. Well, this wasp who can chuck its eggs into a caterpillar and control its brain. Or the Bombardia beetle who can spray boiling liquid at its predators. I mean, I can do that too, but that's a lawsuit waiting to happen. I mean, look at the little guy go. Look at him. He's waddling over there. Who this? A mongoose. Oh my god. Oh, I hate the internet for making me think that's funny when it's not. No, not the Among Us. Yeah, researching different insects has not only made me more terrified of what they can do, but has also made me more excited for the great potential this webtoon has. Like, it's already great, and there's still so many different types of insects with weird abilities they haven't added yet. Okay, starting with the start now, this is not a spoiler, shut up, and even if it was, I'm being super vague about it. Su Chun Jong was a popular college student with good grades and lots of friends. I know you can't see me, but I'm doing quotations with my hands when I say friends, because they ditch him and call him a monster when they find out that he's got wings. Bro, you literally just gave up fast travel because your boy has wings. Fast travel! And even worse, it's not even the good type of wings, like a bird or something. He's got some flimsy dragonfly wings. I mean, his wings don't break, I'm just talking IRL terms. But yeah, they ditch him. And he was exposed on the internet, so everyone knows about him, which I feel they underreact. I mean, I would have expected some police or FBI to be on him, but no, he just walks on the street and everyone uncomfortably looks at him as he walks by. Bro, this is a literal superhuman, and this is how you react? Where's the protest? The violence? The bloodshed? I mean, not that I want that to happen or anything, but you know, it'd be kind of cool, you know? Anyway, Sushan thinks all hope is lost. His life is ruined, and there's nothing he can do about it. But then, anime girl. He meets Yujin, and she's like, you're a wizard, Sucha! <laughs> he joins her to find a whole other world hidden away called the Nest, filled with people like him. Wow, you can you can really tell who got the short end of the stick when you see how these people morph with their books. Oh my god, what the hell is that? In the Nest, he learns how to control his powers and unlock his complexes, which are, and don't quote me on this, abilities that the insect they inherited have to defend themselves. I think. And some of these complexes are insanely cool. It's kind of like when you get a new move on your Pokemon with some dumb gimmick aspect to it. I'm looking at you, Ominous Wind. 10% my freaking ass! The nest's goal is to protect the students from the outside world and from other hostile insect people. There is this conspiracy of a group that is intentionally turning others into insect people. Okay. I'm getting sick of typing insect people in the script. I mean, saying it out loud. Can we figure out a better way to address them? How about insectoids? No, that, that's, that's dumb. 
Uh, the juices. No, no, that's that's taken. Uh, hmm. uh the junky juices. That's the one. Oh, yeah. I know I made it longer, but what are you gonna do about it? Huh? <laughs> yeah. Uh, sorry. <laughs> I haven't mentioned, but there's actually a cure to Jungi Juicer itis. Okay, that's that's taking it too far. I apologize. The Nest, with their extensive research, have developed a cure called Cinderella. <laughs> However, this cure is extremely difficult to make because guess what the main ingredient is? Dr jungle juice. It's it's jungle juice. I mean, would that count as a drug? Uh, I don't know. Apparently, jungle juice is really hard to get, but all the villains can get it because, of course, they can. <laughs> can but yeah that's the start of the show and it only gets better from there which you're just gonna have to take my word for because i am extremely incompetent and i'm scared i'm gonna spoil something if i haven't done it already damn that was beautiful that's some mozart shit right there mozart's the singer right okay now what do i talk about the art style this is good thank you Okay, with all seriousness, the art style is super clean. I'm impressed they managed to keep up such a high quality. And don't even get me start on the action. And the character designs are some of the best I've seen. They really personify the characters with their books. Even the freaking background characters are getting the main character treatment. Hey, hey guys. Guess who the main character is? <laughs> guys? Guys? Obviously, me having the mental age of a five-year-old, if I was ever equipped with a spray bottle, my natural instinct to spray other people will kick in, even if it's filled with literal poison. So that got my game first brain active. What happens if you spray another person, or an animal, or a frog? Or what happens if you spray two different bugs at the same time? If you morph with a bee, would you be able to take your own honey? Or if you morph with a dung beetle, would you be able to drag 1,141 times your human weight? And also have an obsession with poo. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's only exclusive to insects, but the other questions still remain. Okay, be real with me. I don't know if it's just me, but every time they mention or show an insect that I know of, my inner David Attenborough comes out. Oh, what's this? The basic cockroach. Yes, indeed, I actually did know that one. <laughs> this is definitely a webtoon I'd recommend you read if you haven't done so already. There aren't too many episodes right now, so it'd be pretty easy to catch up, and it's just an enjoyable read. Love the characters, love the art style, love the characters, love the power system, love the characters. Have I mentioned that I love the characters? Read this webtoon and just be glad that insects are not smart enough to organize world domination because we'd be at their mercy in about a week.